Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I have prepared a tag video for you. I was tagged by wonderful styling Mila and I hope that you will like this video. By the way guys, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Do consider subscribing to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram account is the same as my YouTube account, which is black and gold style. And please consider checking out my other playlists. I have posted quite a few Chanel bags unboxings, reviews, comparisons, luxury shopping vlogs, Dior, jewelry, weekly vlogs, style and fashion, beauty products, and travel videos. I had to start with my most favorite bag, this white Chanel classic flat bag in caviar in white color that I absolutely love. And if anyone told me that it's going to be my most used bag and one of my most favorites like a year ago, I would never believe in this because I was always afraid of the white color. But it's so surprising that this bag still looks brand new. I love how it matches with most of my wardrobe. It's such a timeless and classic piece and I can never get tired of it. I feel like this bag will always be number one in my wardrobe. The second timeless bag for me is this reissue with charms, which I absolutely love. The charms are so cute and I like that I can style this bag with different jewelry. I feel like it goes with everything and I wear this bag quite often even now during the pandemic. It just goes so well with everything and I like that the straps of this bag are so different. They're very beautiful and I like to wear it with black and gold outfits. It helps to elevate the whole look. I like the fact that this bag was created by Carl and I haven't seen Chanel producing bags like that with charms like before and to me it's a very special piece. And the next item on the list is my iridescent pink flap which I absolutely love. I love the color and I think Chanel has never produced a stunning bag like that and I don't know if they will ever have it. I have seen so many Chanel pink colors but I think this one is the most beautiful by far and I can see myself wearing this bag even in 20 years time. This color is amazing and it goes well with pastel colors, with white. It's so special and I'm very happy that I have it in my collection. I also like it in a size small. I feel like this color looks pretty cute in a size small and I use this bag very often and so far it still looks brand new even though I have been wearing it quite a lot. To me it's a perfect size, perfect shade and it's a forever piece that I'll be wearing for the years to come. And the next item on the list is this pearl bag. It's so beautiful. I bought it in Singapore. It's part of the same collection. Spring summer 2019. And I'm actually quite surprised that the quality of this bag is so good. The pearls still look fine. There is no scratches. Nothing came out of it like I was warned when I bought it. It's very durable and the only thing about this bag is pretty heavy. That's something to keep in mind but the design is so gorgeous. It's one of the kind and I always get so many compliments whenever I wear this bag. It goes with every single outfit. It's so easy to style it. The pearls are timeless and so gorgeous. I have different bags in quite a few colors in my collection. And by the way, guys, I have previously posted a video of my Chanel classic flaps in different colors, which I will link down for you guys in case you want to check it out. And I pretty much can match any outfit. However, whenever I can't find anything, this bag just works perfect with absolutely any outfit. By the way, I often get asked about the size of this bag. I believe it's in a size mini, rectangular mini, but it looks a little bit bigger because of the pearls. They are actually making the bag look a bit bigger, but I'm pretty sure 
it's in a size mini and it can fit in quite a lot the only thing is the strap of this bag is quite long i had to shorten it with the ribbon on the inside of the bag and the last but not the least the bag that i would like to keep forever piece is this black classic flap in caviar in a small size as well Actually, the medium size is my absolute favorite size, but unfortunately, my medium flap has the silver hardware, so I had to choose one, only one, and I decided to go for gold hardware because most of my jewelry is in gold. Now, I'm very obsessed with gold, so actually, that's why I chose this size over the medium size and by the way guys i have previously posted some videos a comparison small versus medium and small versus mini and i will link them down in the description box below for you guys in case you want to check them out because of this cute shape and the hardware i use this bag all the time i take it to work i go out with it the size is not too big and I like how it matches all my outfits. It's such a stunning piece. This bag is so versatile and I like the fact that there are five different ways of how you can actually carry this bag. And I featured them in my videos which I will link down for you guys. Well, I actually have a lot more than five bags in my collection that I would like to sacrifice, but I wanted to make it a little bit more difficult and I actually selected a few Chanel bags, which is not very easy for me. Chanel bags would be the last bags I would want to sell, but I chose this one. This is a seasonal item. I believe I bought this one in 2017 or maybe in December of 2016 but i haven't been using this design very often and i think pandemic doesn't help it at all i used to wear it from time to time but i just stopped and i like the other shade of blue that i have in my collection and i also feel like i prefer the classic flap design i feel like that design is more timeless and a bit more versatile and i also like the strap of those bags Next up, I have this vanity case, which is beautiful. I like that it's in a silver color and it's the only silver color that I have in my collection. It's gorgeous, but then again, I prefer the classic flap style. I feel like it's a bit more versatile, more timeless. I still like this bag, but if I had to sell it, I would let go of it. The only thing is that concerns me, actually, this kind of style doesn't really retain the value. And that's exactly why I prefer to stick with classic flaps next up i have this lv bag that i haven't used for the longest time i believe i haven't used this bag since 2014 or maybe 2015. i used to wear this bag so often it used to be my work bag i carried so many things in it including the laptop and the water bottle at the same time both of them and the bag still didn't break and fall apart but I got bored of it and I hardly ever use it. And here is another bag that I hardly ever reach for. I think I bought them at the same time or maybe I bought the Speedy first and I used it everywhere. It also used to be my work bag. I went out with it. I traveled with it. I used it everywhere for so many years but i remember the hardware of these bags both of them tarnished in about six months or even less than six months i think maybe four months if i'm not mistaken which was shocking that's why i stopped buying lv bags i just can't deal with this kind of poor quality and speaking of the poor quality i feel like this bag has absolutely the worst quality i have ever seen guys just look at this i only used this bag probably 20 times in total and look what happened to it and i was pretty careful with it the quality is probably the worst i have ever had 
And that's why I'm staying away from Prada. I'm not even buying anything from them. I actually like their shoes as well, but the quality of the shoes is horrendous too. So I'm staying away from this brand. I only like their ready to wear. Their ready to wear is beautiful and fashionable, but all other goods are not for me. I am not buying from them. Ever again, I would rather spend money at Chanel or any other brand than Prada. Anyways, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Do consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram account is the same as my YouTube account, which is black and gold style. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!